Hello friends, so today we're going to look at a very interesting stock from the e-commerce space or from the platform business space. Now this company has been in the news for quite some time but off late no one has been talking about this stock and the reason is because the stock is not going anywhere and it did have a decent dip off late. Now a stock would be usually spoken about on social media, on TV, and on TV or on any platform only when it is moving higher. So if you're buying a stock when everyone is speaking about it then that's probably too late to buy a stock. So you want to buy a stock when no one is speaking about it or when there is a nice consolidation happening in the stock. So today let's look at India Mart and the, both the fundamental reasons and the technical reasons as to why someone should be looking to invest in the stock at this point in time. Right. So quickly jumping into the fundamental aspects of the how the company is doing. The company is a pretty decent company. They do, you know, uh, have a very strong market cap around 20,000 crores. And that's not a small company because uh, a small company would have somewhere around 2000 crores, 1000 crores market cap. That's a very big company uh, that we are looking at. And this company is one of the largest players in the B2B landscape when it comes to classifieds. So they basically, you know, I think most of you have heard about this company, right? but they are in the helping the small and medium businesses, uh, you know, to increase their business uh, by, you know, listing them on their platform and through classifieds, right? So that's the business and they are one of the biggest players in the B2B, sp B2B space. Now, this company actually commands a 60% market share in the B2B classified space. So basically, you can call them that they have a kind of, uh, you know, a big uh, share of the market. So there's nothing to worry about if the company is a small company or like that. They do have a very predominant market share. So that's a very good sign that we're looking at in this company. Okay, so just to look at the numbers, like as we usually do, the ROC is at 39%. Um, which is very good. Like always say that ROC anything about, you know, 10%, 15% is pretty good. And for a platform business, this is a decent ROC that I would say. It's not, um, you know, very bad. And the PE is right now at 78.5. Now we look at PE, why it is so high? Because this company is growing its, uh, you know, profits. If you see the profit growth, is a 90% growth in profits. And that's why it is trading at a very high PE. Now, as and when the profit grows and the stock price doesn't move, the PE automatically start dipping. Okay, so you don't have to really worry about a PE unless the company is posting very good profits quarter on quarter, year on year. So just jumping into the fundamentals of the company or the uh, quarter results. So if you see, they have been growing their sales at a decent pace and right now they're doing 180 crore sales. But the point to notice here is that the company has, you know, increased its uh, profit margins here around 50%. So it was around the 18, 20% and recent quarters, they have increased their margins to 50%, which means they're making now very good money out of their business that they have invested in, right? So in terms of the operating profit, they have been a loss making company for many years, but the last three years, just see the jump in the profits. Now that's when the operational efficiency kicks in, economies of scale kick in and the company starts making, you know, good money. And that's the reason why the PE is so high because the company is growing or uh, sales and profits are growing at a very good pace, right? So that's the uh, growth rate uh, in the sale in terms of sales and profits. Now here, if you see, they are growing at a 372% CAGR in the last three years and their uh, sales has been growing at 18% CAGR in the last three years. Now, just looking at uh, the borrowings, they do have borrowings of late. Last two quarters, they have borrowed some money, but that's very less compared to the money that they're making. So not a problem. Their cash flow has been very good. Now, in terms of the promoters, promoters hold a 49% stake in the company. The FIs have increased the stake significantly from, you know, 10% to 27% right now. The DIs have reduced the stake. Again, as I've always mentioned, these are just numbers to look at. If the FIs increase stake, that's a pretty good number. Uh, but if they decrease stake, doesn't mean that, you know, the company is bad. Okay, but they, if they increase the stake, that's a good sign. Then our thesis against the company, about the company is actually good, actually right. So that's the fundamental analysis. Now looking at the technical analysis as usual. Now this is not a perfect parallel channel because I do have three touch points on the lower side, but I don't have two touch points on the higher side. But in case you consider that this is a breakout from this channel over here. Now this was a channel here and we broke out from this channel over here with good volumes. And then we kind of consolidated and then we went higher. And then again, we're consolidating around that same channel. And that's the reason I've extended this parallel channel here and then I see that this is the middle of the channel and probably this is the higher end of the channel. And now we are taking support around the middle of the channel and last few weeks, the price has not got anywhere. After this week, we had a good volume and then we are just consolidating around this week here. The price has seen no movement whatsoever in the last two months. 
right so i am expecting a solid move probably on the upside now there's always a chance that stock can go down but for now my uh, view is that the support is there the support is there and we are probably heading higher now my targets are probably all time higher on 10000 and even you know we can go to 13000 odd levels in the coming uh, years right but uh, for now we might take some more time before we break out of this channel keep a stop loss around 6000 i think i mentioned 6000 to 650 and you can enter the current market price around 7000 7250 and we can see targets of 10000 probably in the next one year or so but otherwise the company is an excellent company um, you know companies just share price doesn't just fall one way down or they don't go one way up they always move up they consolidate move up sometimes correct sometimes consolidate but they do keep heading higher if the company is a good company so i hope you will invest in this company uh, and if you did invest or if you're planning to invest do let me know in the comment section and do share this video with your friends and you know subscribe to my youtube channel for more such insights and for a lot of interesting things on my channel thank you and take care